Hello, everybody, and welcome to Geek Street Journal, the show that tells you about all the interesting dates coming up in the week ahead. This is the show for the second week of January. Woo! Ow. I forgot I'm still sore from snowboarding. Before we get started, I'd like to tell everyone that I made an awesome scarf. Isn't that nice? I like it. I was trying to figure out whether I should wear it on the show or not, but I thought it really didn't match my shirt. But I'm so proud of it, maybe I'll just keep it. I think I'll just keep it. I'm gonna keep it. As you might be able to tell from this dragon painting right here, and uh, oh, that's right, I don't think you can see Thaddeus, but he's co-hosting with me. D December, that's not the date anymore, January is. January 16th is Appreciated Dragon Day. Whether we're talking about the all-powerful, fire-breathing magic dragons of the West, like in Merlin and, um, what's that one with the... Oh, we're talking about the wise and mystical dragons of the East. I think we can all agree that dragons don't deserve our appreciation, so... Do it on December, no, it's still the wrong day again, January 16th. January 18th is Poo Day, and that's P-O-O-H, not P-O-O, because -O, there's a pretty big difference there. What we're talking about is Winnie the Pooh, um, because January 18th is the birthday of A.A.A. A. A. Minley, the author of the Winnie the Pooh book, there's many of them, as well as several other books. Linked in the description is the heartwarming tale of Winnie the Pooh and how it became a best-selling children's story. It involves World War I, orphaned bear cubs, and a whole lot of heart. Check it out, it's pretty cool and is down there. January 21st is Squirrel Appreciation Day as well as National Hugging Day. Here's a true and funny story. There are three squirrels that are absolutely hysterical. Their names are Augustus, Gluttonous, and Nutness. And they're just the cutest little squirrels. If a bit mischievous, just some pretty cool squirrels. So what can we do to appreciate squirrels? Well first, let's think of all the awesome squirrels in movies. There's that one in Hoodwinked, there's the one in Over the Hedge, there's the one in Ice Age, there's one in Emperor's New... Why is it... It just seems like maybe that's like the same squirrel and he's like stuck in typecasting. I feel bad for the squirrel. Also, did you guys know about this amazing thing? It's called squirrel fishing. You take like a piece of fishing wire and you tie like an acorn or a piece of food to it and you cast it out across the park in like the middle of spring and you wait for a squirrel to find it and you slowly wind the string around your finger and you actually reel in a squirrel. I haven't tried it, but Jacqueline says that she's seen it done and I really want to try this. So I'm not sure what to do once I actually got the squirrel. Possibly get rabies? No, no, I'd hug it because National Hugging Day. Normally I have a problem with personal contact with living things, which isn't to say I prefer personal contact with dead things. My rules about people touching me kind of go back to first grade. I have a bubble, so don't pop it. But because we're on the internet, I think we can make an exception. I don't think there's any chance of me catching germs, though when I look up on WebMD, like these weird Australian diseases, and I think I get them. That's neither here nor there. Uh, I think I could give you all a hug. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, viewers. Hello. There. Is that good? Did you guys enjoy that? Thank you for watching this episode of Geek Street Journal. Click here to see another episode of Geek Street Journal. Click here to see my main channel and my latest video. And I hope you guys can appreciate some of these days with me, especially Dragon Day, because they're so cool. All right, bye, guys.